Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. One of the number one questions that I'm asked on Snapchat, in the past couple of weeks anyway, has been what makeup brushes would I recommend? And if you know me at all, you know that I kind of like to collect makeup brushes. Because I love them. Not because I hate to wash them, I just keep buying more so that I don't have to wash them. So I went through my stash to pick out some of my favourite ones and I also wanted to highlight some new brushes that have come into my life that I haven't tried yet but I just wanted you to know these exist in the world, okay? So, let's get started. So, these are my Blank Canvas Cosmetic Brushes. So, over the years I have been collecting the eye brushes, okay? Hold on, these are the face ones, the eye brushes, and they are brilliant. Um, so much so that MAC, if I was you I would be scared because they're brilliant. Um, so the flat shader brushes are the E24s. I have like three of those because, you know, we need flat shader brushes. And they work really well with cream and powder products. Then I have two of the pencil brushes because I just don't want to clean one. I want to clean two. And they're the E23s. Um, and another one that I wanted to talk about is one of my favourite brushes of all time, the F28. There. This one is perfect for blending in the crease, for applying um, really pointed contour, for applying highlight, for applying powder all over your face, just everywhere, just everywhere. And um, the quality of these are fantastic for the price, I'm telling you. They don't shed, they wash so well, they shape back into place really easily and I've been using these face brushes recently. This is the F04, the angled brush, the F15, this gorgeous red brush, hello. Can't even tell when it's dirty, bonus. And then the fan brush, which is the F05, which is great for the old highlight. And like a little bit of powder as well if you want. Oh, do you know what? They are brilliant brushes. They're available on Cloud 10 Beauty and on blankcanvascosmetics.com. Totally recommend them. And I generally, I don't play on thing, but I generally pick up some eye brushes whenever there is a sale on Cloud 10 Beauty or whenever I have a voucher or a discount code for Blank Canvas, just saying. Um, absolutely adore these brushes and I will continue to try each and every one. I have my eye on the contour one which is that really square rectangular one that just goes like, and it will give you cheekbones. Love those. And they sell these brushes individually and also in sets. They're like face sets, eye sets, mad huge big sets as well. So good Christmas present, that's all I'm saying. Another brush brand that I've really been enjoying using is IU Brush. I mean, that's also an Irish brand as well. Um, in particular, I do love this powder brush. And it's really small and so cute. So I sent a few of their brushes recently. And I've sent some face brushes and some um, eye brushes as well. And I really I found that I much prefer the face brushes to the eye brushes. This one's really soft. I'm stroking my face. You know how to apply powder, you know. But um, I love this. And again, they wash really well. And they're lovely and soft. Not scratchy on the lid. And I really like this brush. It's like a little brown blending brush. Now it's smaller than it's smaller than the blank canvas cosmetic brush, but still has the the same idea. It is scratchier than this one, but still you can blend easily. It's not gonna hurt your eyeballs. I have a full review of the IU brushes up on the blog. I will leave the link for that below because um, that just says all that I need to say about the brushes, and it kind of goes through the ones that I tried that I wasn't mad on, and the ones that I really liked. So yeah, leave that link below. It wouldn't be a brush video if I didn't talk about real techniques. Come on, these were the ones that set the world alight. Not really, like I didn't like have fires or anything. I think everybody is a fan of Sam and Nick from Pixu, and when they brought out their own brushes, I was like, oh my god, I just need them. If it makes me look like them in any capacity, I just need them all. So these are the brushes that I use most often. Like I don't really use any of their eye brushes. Isn't that really weird? No, no, no. Um. So yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna hold them like this. So the buffing brush, that's a staple. You love that, don't you? And then this one. This is the setting brush or something. Contour brush. Um, I don't really use the contour. I use it to kind of pat in and um, mix in my concealer. Love that. And then this one. This is the setting brush. Now, this is my second one of these because the first one, his head fell off because I must have let too much water go into the ferrule. I was raging. But yeah, again, this is really nice for blending out concealer, for applying powder on top. Um, what else do I use? I use this sculpting brush to sculpt some cheekbones and also to apply my foundation. I really like the way that it's really densely packed and I can really like go mad on my face. Because I just do. And then the blush brush, that is a staple. And the powder brush, I'd say I use the powder brush pretty much every day. It is brilliant. I, do you know, I need to wash this. I don't know when the last time I washed this was. Oh my God, I 
hate washing brushes so much. I also really like the Duo Fiber Face Brush. Now, this is a great brush for picking up a really small amount of pigment. So I have this MAC blush that I'm trying out at the moment and I literally just have to go Phew, and then it gives me like a full cheek of colour. Whereas if I use this blush brush, I would just look demented. Um, yeah, so they're really great and as I said they wash really well and I think everybody on the grandma has some Real Techniques brushes though. So. so I was sent these brushes from Car Pharmacy recently and first of all, don't you enjoy this? This is the case, you know, I say pretty much every brush company has these cases and look, so the idea is um, you could either have like the two cases filled with brushes or keep the, keep the lid on top or you can put your dirty brushes into one, your clean brushes into the other. I would have no clean brushes, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this set, hold on, this set here with their 12 brushes all together, five face and seven eye brushes, 29.99. I think a brush set like this would be really good for somebody who's starting out with makeup. Like if you had a niece or a cousin or a sister who's in her 30s but still needs to try brushes. <laughs> like look, hold on. Like look at these face brushes that you get. I am loving this. And you might keep it if Javan doesn't know what to do with it. There's a powder brush, there's this brush. This is a great brush for applying concealer right under the lower lashes. Not the lower lashes, under there. What is that area called? On, on your eyes. Then you have a flat foundation brush and then a microfiber, no, a duo fiber brush, which I love. I love duo fiber brushes because they're great for applying cream blush. Um, you can stipple it on, you can stipple on your foundation. Feel. They really do feel lovely, and I might use them. It'll be like dry. See you later. And yeah, look at the seven brushes that you get. You get some blending brushes, some angle brushes, a really thin eyeliner brush, and um, a flat shader brush. I'd say that is pretty good. Yeah, they're really nice. And for twenty nine ninety nine, that is great value. And these little case things come in black and also in pink. So check the car pharmacy website or in your local car pharmacy to see. I just wanted to give a little heads up on these little brushes. So first of all, this one is from number seven and it is, what is it called? Contour and highlight. It's so good. Cause it's a really small little contour. So you can be really precise and sculpt yourself some really sculpty cheekbones. And then this you use as a highlight or for me, I use it as a blush. It's a really nice size and I kind of like to pat the color on. I do enjoy double ended brushes, except if you're somebody who stores them like this, then they get a bit squished. So you have to like store that flat. Just saying, but that's really good. A really like, really nice quality as well. It washes really well. And I know that from experience having done it like twice, that's all. And then pennies have brushes that are out. And at the moment, all I can see in there is those really weird um, flat angled foundation brushes, which I don't even know who uses those, not me. But I bought this one and I think this is like a smoky eye one. And on one end it's like a little blending brush and on the other end is a little detailer brush. I used this for my lips today and it was very fantastic. And um, I used this to apply concealer. Um, again, really nice. They're kind of looking a bit like the Real Techniques ones. And then there's this one, which I've been using nonstop for the past couple of weeks. And it is, what is this called? Blush powder, that's what it is. I use this for foundation and powder and it's really nice because you can really buff the foundation into your skin bit of powder on the top and I've been using this for blush and powder whatever you want um but yeah like and they're cheapest chips like these would make really good stocking stuff as well because I think this one was 250 if I see more of those I'm going to get them for the vlog not because I don't want to wash that one so the final brushes that I wanted to talk to you about are from one of my favourite brands ever. They're from Nima Brush. And look at them. This is the Round Top Kabuki Brush, which I use for foundation all the time. And I actually think I prefer this to the buffing brush from Real Techniques because the bristles are longer and there's more movement and you can just really go, Rrr. and then also she has a flat top Kabuki Brush as well, which is brilliant. I've washed these countless times. They don't shed, they don't molt, they don't do anything. And look, they survive being banged together. Now, look at this. Neve sent me this there the other day and it is the little mini girls on tour set. Oh, those, first of all, it comes in a little Tiffany blue like pouch and it has the Nemo brush logo there. And it has this very fantastic gold area. And look inside. Oh, that was supposed to be more dramatic. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love, I'm actually obsessed with the handles because they're these Tiffany blue is it Tiffany blue? Well, it's called duck egg blue, but it kind of looks like Tiffany blue. And it's matte as well. Like it feels lovely and has the Nima brush logo. Even this part here is kind of like a flat gold. So inside you get three 
face brushes and then four eye brushes. So Neve has named these brushes after female figures that have inspired her and encouraged her over the years and I just think that that's a love, such a lovely idea. So this one is the Blaheen like this feels good you know like sometimes when you get travel brushes and they don't feel as good quality as that would be if it was like a big one these this feels so soft i would use this everywhere i love that it's tapered as well you really get into your contour you can apply it as a blush then this look at this little angled brush oh it's lovely that's really like nice and dense as well like you could really like use that for a cream contour as well stipple it on and then this oh yeah sorry that one was the tara brush and then this one is the Jane brush and it's one of those dual fiber, oh my god that feels so soft, a dual fiber brush which you can use for foundation, you can use for powder, you can use to stipple your cream products in, That that's lovely, I might use that. So I know I'm just, you know how to work brushes. <laughs> And so look at the eye brushes. This one is the Patricia, which is a really nice blending brush, but you can also like apply um, eyeshadow with it. This one is the Debs brush, which is like a really cute little blending brush. This brush, this angled brush is the Danielle. And then finally we have the Ollie, which is like a really cute little stubby little brush that you could use to get right under the lower lashes. So this set is 55 euro and you get the seven brushes and the little pouch. How cute would that be for Christmas? Like seriously, and you'd be giving somebody face and eye brushes. That's so cute. I just love this. I love that they fit in and I love that the handles are matte. I love that it has a little pouch. Oh, that just made me so happy. So those are the brushes that I use all the time. I know that there's a lot of brushes, but I kind of switch and swap between depending on which ones are clean and dirty. I think brushes are a great present to get somebody for Christmas because it's not something that they would buy themselves usually and um, there's some really great affordable sets that are out there at the moment and if you can't afford a set then maybe get a couple of single brushes put it together with like a few bits of makeup and people would just love you they would just love you their face would love you and then that would just be good juju are there any brushes that I need to try are there any brush brands that I'm missing out on um, do tell because like I obviously need some don't I I just love brushes, I do. I hate washing them more than anything. I think that is like the number one least favourite chore that I hate when it comes to makeup and blocking and stuff. I just, uh, it's so boring. <laughs> First world problems, I know, sorry. But um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what your favourite brushes are that you use. What do I need to add to my collection? Because I just, I like for the blog, like, you know, just for the blog. I'll see you in the next video. Bye 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 bye. I will pay somebody to come and wash these for me. The other people have set up like laundry mats for people to wash their clothes in. I think there should be like a brush version of that. That we could like just send them in and you wash them and send them back. Oh, don't like doing it.